What's up everybody tweets here um, in this video I am going to show you guys how to add custom spawn items to your zombies so when you kill the zombies um, there's a chance something will be in the inventory um, <clears throat> which is vanilla they have it on sometimes you get food and stuff but if you have like modded items like collectibles or something you want to spawn in the zombies maybe you want to spawn in like a certain zombie like military only and not civilian whatever um you could do that um it's pretty pretty simple so for server owners all you gotta do is you go to your server folders you go to your mp missions go to your map and then you're gonna bring up two different well you're gonna bring up cfg spawnable types and then you are gonna bring up CFG random presets. So now what you're gonna do is what I usually do is I copy this top one here and then I will go right above it, paste it. Um depending on how many items there is. Um I'm just gonna do one. And then you're gonna go to the types to the mod you want to add so if you're adding like collectibles or whatever um, i'm just going to use something from my craftable types just for now um and i'm going to do maybe this twk grenade pin which is used to craft the uh soda can grenade and then i'm going to add that over to no can here and then i'm going to change this to whatever mod name or whatever like i'm just gonna put twk underscore craft and then that's that you can up the chance um this is 11 percent. so and then this is 15 percent chance at the top i'm gonna add that to i'll say 25 percent um and then you can change that to whatever i'm gonna keep either do that 15 or whatever once you have that and you have that set up now if you wanted another item then by all means just copy that line paste it below and get the class name for the other item so if you're doing like i don't know collectibles like cards or whatever you put each card class name in that you want and then just keep going down the line until you get each class name in that one section but I'm just doing one item for now. So once you have that, you'll save it. And your that's your random presets XML. After that, you're gonna copy this top here, the name equals, and I got TWK craft. I'm gonna copy that. Well, we'll copy that after. For then you're gonna go to your random or your spawnable types XML, your CFG spawnable types. And then you're gonna scroll down until you see the zombies. And then you're going to choose what zombies you want to put them in. So you'll see start of zombies, um, NBC, you got military army. You keep scrolling down, you'll see all of them. So all you want to do, so say if you want just to spawn in the military, the army zombies, you're going to copy this line here that says cargo preset equals. So either one of these two. And then you're going to just add a, another line below. Go to your CFG random presets. Get that name you made, TWK Craft. Copy that. Paste it. And then copy that new line. And then add it to all the military zombies. Or whatever zombies you want to do. Um, you can even add them to all zombies. You can just keep going down until you add it. And then once you do that, you save it. And then you uh, start up your server. And then that's it. And then you're, when you go kill the zombies, they'll, uh, they'll randomly spawn with the item that you have. Um, it's not going to be it because your chance. So unless you put that chance to like 100%, like 1.0 or whatever, um, it's not going to be every zombie, which I prefer that way. So like, 
it's more of a chance you'll get it and not like guarantee. Um, but that that's pretty much it. And then, then you'll have your items spawning on the dead zombies. Um, you don't want anything that's gonna be big, like a gun or something, because it's not. It might not fit in the um, the inventory of the zombie body itself. So you could add um, <coughs> attachments. So like a weapon or something, attachments instead of cargo, it'd be the same thing pretty much. But instead of cargo, you'd say attachments equals, and then whatever the item is, like I did with TWK craft, and then it'll be an attachment. But it's it's the same method. Um, and that's it. And then you just uh, restart your servers with uh, the same settings, and boom, done. If you have any questions, join my Discord link below. And this is just a little quick video. Uh, more tutorials coming soon. And I'll catch you later.